Hi everybody, it's DC here. Uh, what we've got here is the schematics for the hairpin circuit as it's running at the moment. Uh, we've got a transformer here which takes AC low voltage to AC high voltage and then we, it runs up to the spark gap and then we've got the two um, capacitors and then the stout, stout rod coming off the top. Off the top of the stout rod we run a wire down to the fluorescent tube which is if you like spark gap number two this is spark gap number one spark gap number two so we've got a flux going through the fluorescent tube and then we've got a coil here and uh, then we've got a thick multi-strand wire here and then we've got the meter at this point here just note there's no flow going through the meter but there is it's vibrations and what we've got here is we've got the dielectrics it's all dielectric um, that's going on here if you can get your head around it uh, I hope you like this video okay we're going over to the example now we've we've got um, the voltage at about 10 volts I'm going to turn that up in a minute we've got the, the DC motor running here and we, the spark gap's just about working, very low, very low. And um, I'm just going to put the light out now, and you can see that everything is sort of energised. Well, I think you can. We've got, uh, that's the 35 watt sodium lamp here. You've got the, the fluorescent tube here, which is uh, then going through the steel tube. Okay, I, I hope that makes sense. Uh, everything's lit up there. And um, what I'm going to do now is just show you the reading here. Oh, if I can, the light's bad. I'll t I'm doing my best here because I'm doing it with one hand. I'm going to try and turn up the voltage now. You'll hear it go up. And you should see the amps rise. got some fine tuning to do on the first spark gap very finely tuned very finely tuned here it goes up and down very difficult just to get the sweet spot on it Sorry, it's difficult getting the sweet, but there we go. As you can see, the ampage, the, once you find the sweet spot, it really does so. Okay, I'm just going to switch the light out again. There's still a little, a little bit going on here, but it's all, the whole thing is lit up. Um, it's up. I'm just showing you that it's all, all live here, all All live. I'm going to turn the. I've turned it down now to about 12 volts. Everything's live here. I'm going to turn it down to about um, 10 volts. But I can touch it. I can still touch it. Obviously now I'm on, on 10 volts, the, the amps has gone down there considerably. I'm going to turn it up again. Okay, I hope this uh, sort of helps. I'm very excited about this because this now means that uh, we can look at turning the dielectric into some useful power. I mean useful power. This is a real step forward for me. So thank you very much for watching. This is DC signing out.